Hi friends, today we are going to see the demo on Snowflake Qualify clause. If you have not gone through my recent blogs on Snowflake uh, Qualify clause, I would recommend you to go through same. I had covered all the theory portion there. So let's start with the demo. I'm switching my window to uh, Snowflake and uh, for this demo, I'm going to do some setup. But before going to do some setup, uh, let me explain in brief about uh, Snowflake Qualify clause so that you have the background of what we are going to see and then we will proceed with the demo. So um, for more detail, you can see on the blogs and uh, but definitely for the brief, let's start. Uh, basically, uh, if you are from the database background or if you are a little bit aware about the database uh, background, so you might aware about the having clause. So uh, whenever you use the aggregate uh, uh, features in database in any of the previous uh, database, uh, you might be aware that when you do a group by and if you want to use a filter on top of a uh, group by clause, you have to use the having clause, right? So say you are grouping the entire table with certain column like uh, em employee department, right? So based on department one, two, three, four, you want to look for some aggregate value say max salary or the top salary of the employee right so based on that condition if you want to filter that you only want to see for a particular uh, department like say one or two only so you can put those condition in by using the having clause right so you can put the clause that uh, group by employee department having department in one or two right so that's the way you were doing the filter on top of group by clause right that's that's the uh, way how you filter out the group by clause or the aggregate uh, data now there is another thing uh, where we use the analytical function uh, so you might be aware that it's very frequently used in all the analytical process say, say rank dense rank lead lag all those windows function right so but uh, in previous all the databases whenever we want to do the filter on top of the uh, say uh, analytical function say you have a uh, uh, say example you have a salary table uh, you have an employee table where all the salary is there information is there and you want to uh, uh, put the salary on the descending order and based on that you want to create the ranking okay and then you have a condition that you want to only look for the top five or something so it was not able means like you will not be able to do that filter on a same query on the same sql at the same line so you have to use the inline uh, view or inline query in all the previous thing uh, where you have to create another query on top of your base query and the base query will only have the rank clause and then on top of that you are just writing a select star from then this query and where whatever column mentioned you have mentioned for the rank uh, column and then you have provided the condition like equal to one two five or between the range whatever right so that was one of the old method how to satisfy or mitigate the requirement of uh, getting the filter on the aggregate uh, on the sorry on the analytical function so Let's do one thing and the same thing we will see that how we, we can achieve that using the snowflake uh, qualify clause so qualify clause is the enhancement of that particular requirement where you don't have to uh, write the extra uh, layer of the query to satisfy that requirement rather you can use the same qualify clause in the same uh, level and you will get the same result let's see the same on the action so for this demo i'm going to create a database called qualify and if I refresh, you will see that I have a qualified database with a public schema. I'm going to use the same. I'm going to create a table called employee and I am going to put some dummy data into that. And then uh, once that is done, let me show you what is the data looks like. So here you can see that I have five employee with five different salaries. And then these are the department, two department, IT and sales. So as I explained, I want to see the uh, rank one of the salary who who is the employee like on each in department who is the top paid employee so if that is my requirement so this is how we wanted to see in the past so this will not work so you will get the window function this appear outside of a select qualify order by clause right so you can't do this dense rank equal to this or not even if you want to do like this 
this will not work so you will get the same error message so how to do that so the older technique which i was explaining you earlier was like you have to put the base query over here and then you have to create a, another layer of the query on top of this which is known as inline view uh, very uh, uh, in all the old rdvms we we used to say is inline uh, inline query where we create another query on top of this and then reading the same query data and then filter out the requirement so now if i do like this it will give me all the top one salary so if you remember we have uh, two people so let me go on the top and again query the employee table and you will see that this was raji was having the top salary and then sanjeev and then tom one ha having the more salary sorry i forgot to show you there are seven records so yeah so here you can see that uh, in the under it department we have two records with first uh, same salary which is the top salary 1000 and under sales we have again two records with 150 salary which is the top salary so if i order by i will see that there are two record for it which is on top and two record for sales which is on top rest all are the second ranking but if we achieve, if we do this we will see that the same thing we are able to satisfy so you can see that two records are first and two record from sales are first and two record from it is at the first the same thing if we want to achieve using the uh, modern way in snowflake we can use the qualify clause so in the newer version we can apply something like this so uh, we can use the qualify clause and then we can provide the dense rank so at the same level whatever uh, alias you have provided you can use that alias along with the qualify clause so now if i execute this version it will give me the same data provided i don't have to use the another layer of the query or the extra sql text provided like um, uh, i don't believe that there is any performance enhancement on the background because if you see the uh, uh, query profile at the end it is good doing the same thing behind the scene but to reduce the complexity of the sql statement and to make the sql statement simpler uh, i feel this enhancement is very much uh, appreciated and uh, i don't have to write the extra code or a complex query now my uh, query looks neat and clean while achieving the same thing in a same level of code so that's all about the qualify clause so that's the purpose of uh, this demo and i'm going to drop this database so that i don't um, pay for the extra one which i don't need so hope you like this demo uh, small quick and fast and if you like the demo please subscribe to my channel thank you